Hi everybody, how you doing today? Today we're going to take an in-depth look of the video mode on your uh, bridge camera. And what I've done is I shot 15 seconds worth of each of the nine photo settings you have. And they are, <laughs> I can't quite remember them all, but um, they are, let me get back to the beginning so I don't mess you up. It starts with standard. That's the first one. Then it's going to be vivid. And this is in your video mode. The next one will be natural, monochrome, scenery, portrait, custom standard. And then you got Cine like D, which is kind of like the older movies. And a Cine like V, which is uh, it has more con or more saturation. Anyway, all nine of these I took 15 second videos of in a scenic spot, just so you can kind of see what each one does. Um, I also want to tell you that there are certain parts of this. Um, if you want to get the best video, you're going to do it from the uh, the video mode uh, position which is that one right there. See the white dot, white dot lined up? That's where you're gonna get your best video because you have access to uh, exposure compensation and that's key to a great video. Now I have set mine up for uh, when it's in the video mode to, I set it for auto, uh, ISO, and I set my ISO at 200 uh, ISO. It works great right there. You don't need to put it up anymore. Unless you really get in some dark situations, you might want to put it up a little more. And how you adjust it is, let me uh, get out of this for a minute. And on the side of the camera, you have this wheel that sets the the ISO uh, your maximum ISO setting in the camera for the video or for that fact for any of the photo uh, things so what I do is I go to um, I push up on the ISO which gives me this and right now it's an auto. So yeah, just um, leave it in the auto. The camera will take care of the rest. And also, in this mode, you have more color tools to work with. Uh, you have your micro settings in each one of the photo styles. You have uh, contrast, sharpening, noise reduction and saturation each one and you can customize that to look the way you want it to look and it's really a, a really good tool and they are micro settings they're they're not like big leaps it's more of a micro setting so work with that so please subscribe like and share and have a beautiful day p.s i have got a secret santa for you coming on the next video i found the sweet spot for the color correction for your camera you know how uh, when you have it in auto white balance or just the daylight settings it's it's pretty saturated and it's warm it's more warmer than what it should be so I have got a custom uh, color correction tool that you're going to program into your camera and you will be just amazed at how much better it looks the sky is bluer, uh, the greens are green, not greener, but true green. Because what you're going to see in the electronic viewfinder or behind uh, in, the, in the back is going to be truer colors of what you're actually shooting at. And if you want, you can go into the micro settings and turn a little saturation up if you don't like, if you little, need to get a little more saturation or a little more contrast but it's really gonna be the saturation because that's the only thing I'm uh, altering is the warmth 
I am bringing a little bit of coolness into it. And uh, I'm excited to show you. It's my next video. It's going to be amazing. And you will just be uh, blown away by the difference because it'll actually give you truer colors to what your eye is actually seeing out there. Okay. Great. Subscribe, like, and share, and have a gorgeous and beautiful day. And uh, if you have any comments, send them my way. I'll, I'll give you the best answer I can give you. So thank you, everybody, uh, for your support, your kindness, your positive energies, because that's what it's all about. So yeah, I got a secret Santa gift coming to you for free. Thanks, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Hi everybody, how you doing today? Well, today is my tutorial on the video section of your camera. Basically putting it in the movie section, which is that icon right there with the M. It shows a little movie. Okay. Switch camera there. And I'm going to kind of walk you through this. And I'm going to show you some of the things I found out about in-depth video recording in this section of the camera. So we're going to turn our camera on and we're going to hit menu. And as you can see, the photo style is standard, just basic standard. Uh, click on that. And as you can see, there is a total of nine different photo scenes, including the custom standard. And that's the one that I've modified for myself, which you'll see here in a little while. And remember the micro settings? You can, when you go into these photo styles, you can micro set all the different uh, for contrast, for sharpness, noise reduction, and saturation, which makes it really unique. And then you can just set it in the memory and it'll remember every time you go back to the movie section, it'll set that camera for there. Okay, so here we have standard, that's the first one. And then you got vivid and then you have natural. And I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through these so you see them. And of course you can set your finite adjustments right here. Uh, monochrome, which is black and white scenery which is basically your you know uh, greenery scenery or your landscape scenery you have portrait which I don't use you have custom and as you can see I got plus two on the contrast plus two on the sharpness minus two on the noise reduction that's where I run my videos at so here you have cine like D, which is a really uh, cool effect if that's what you're looking for, but you can micro adjust it right here in these settings. And then Cine like V. Uh, the D is more of the old style type scenery. The Cine like has more color in it, just so you know. And then of course we go back to standard. And I'm going to have 15 minute or 15 second videos of each one of these so you can physically see the difference in what um, they look like for each setting and that'll be coming after this little tutorial here um, I also want to help you or understand that in the video setting you um, you have get out of here you're gonna go to focus point and you have a couple couple different focus points. The C1 is my custom focus point. That's the little square as you can see right here. And then you have this one, which is usually what goes on when you press the red button up here when you video it. Um, and then of course this one here, I would recommend using that for video. But between these two right here, this single point, and this is a little bigger focus point. Um, if you're out in the woods and you're trying to capture uh, birds in the, like under the leaves or under the limbs or in the limbs, 
then I would use this one. But if you're just out, out there and taking a video, uh, this one's a little more forgiving. It has a bigger focus point, as you per se. Um, it's a little more, um, how would you say, forgiving. <laughs> so for all of you out there that shake a little bit, which I do at times, um, that's why I only run 600 millimeter on the video, unless if it's over that, I'm going to put a, put it on a tripod. Um, I do use my single focus point, but I also use uh, this one too. Uh, these two are identically the same. You'll get the same quickness uh, focus out of them. It's just that this one's more precise than this one. So if you're doing a big open area in your landscape or you just want to like videotape a scene, I would recommend the bigger focus point. Um, uh, you can go to multi one, but I wouldn't recommend that because then the camera's going to choose what it thinks is best to focus on. So that being said, now I'm going to uh, take you to the video and I'm going to show you exactly what each one of um, the photo styles do and the effect that they have. Now this is in a scenic uh, um, scenery type so like the portrait's not going to be that great but it'll just give you an idea what each one does when all set to zero except for I have a negative one on the noise reduction. So you can kind of see what each one does. I want to give you real results so you can see uh, what it's going to uh, produce. Okay. And after that, I got some beautiful pictures for you and a message. So yeah, please subscribe, like, and share and have a gorgeous and beautiful day.